What's up guys, this is Nock V and I'm going to be doing something I haven't done in quite a while and that is make a production video on YouTube. Now my style of making music has changed a little bit since the last time I made one of these videos. The main thing being a lot of hard style influence in the lead synthesizers. You hear this a lot in uh, Darren Styles' new stuff, uh, Jacoby, Max Wolf, Technicor, uh, things like that. This is a sound that's influenced a lot of my new music and I wanted to make an updated video series that incorporates the, the new styles and techniques that I use in my music and the best way to start that off is with these hard style influenced modern hardcore leads. With this video series, I plan on taking you guys through the entire process of making a track from start to finish, starting with the lead synthesizers and then in the next video, I'll be going over the bass and sort of the chorus drop kind of stuff and we'll see where we go from there. So let's dig into it. So from the very beginning, I've just opened up Serum and I'm looking through the stone bank presets to find something that sounds kind of hard style. It has that kind of glide and portamento to it because we'll be using that a lot later. So yeah, you can, you can hear that kind of glide when I'm playing two notes at the same time. It'll, it'll glide from one to the other. Now I'm going to speed a little bit through the, the process of actually making the tune because it is it's pretty boring. But one of the things to note is how I start adding these lower notes and these these notes are using utilizing that portamento mainly to kind of have these little dips that kind of pitch down uh, when the note plays. And you'll, you'll hear exactly what I mean when I've finished the tune and I start playing it out. Now at this point it is pretty thin on its own, but we'll sort that out later. For now, what I'm gonna do is add another layer of serum, and this is just gonna kind of be a sub layer, and we'll use a, uh, a saw wave, but we'll just low pass the hell out of it, and just get kind of really just those, those low frequencies in there. Get that down way low. Now at this point, all I'm doing is drawing out the same note placement as the leads, but I'm using just a low, a low tone, a bass tone. And this will end up being the same notes that we use for the bass line of the track as well. At this point, what I want to do is turn the reverb on the main synth off because we're going to control that later on with uh, Valhalla Room on its own effects slot. Now, what I'm going to do is have the leads bus over into another effects slot. Um, this is going to be used for the chords and stuff to bus into later as well, so we can kind of apply effects to all of that stuff all at once. The first thing I'm going to add to this is OTT. OTT is a kind of cool multi-band compressor kind of thing. It, it does kind of make it sound thin at the beginning. But after we start adding a bunch of stuff to it, it's, it really starts to begin to shine later on. So I'm gonna add a new instance of Serum, again, of course. Uh, this is gonna end up being the, the chords that kind of layer with the lead, as well as the subs. And I'll start putting them kind of in their place in the effects slots here. So what I'm doing is I'm bussing the chords, which I haven't done yet, and the leads into an effects slot, which just has Valhalla Room. And then after the reverb, it gets mixed back into the original signal. Then I kind of just fiddle with the levels until I get this roughly where I want it to sound. Now what I want to do here is add a, a limiter to the actual reverb itself. Um, not just to do any compression or anything, but what I want to do is sidechain that with the original signal of the leads coming in. 
So pretty much what happens is the actual reverb will duck as the leads are playing. And it kind of gives this kind of cool breathing kind of feel to the to the reverb. Now you got to make sure that this release is turned up a fair bit so that the volume of the reverb comes back pretty slowly so that it really feels like it's breathing. Now I'm going to add in just a little bit of delay. Now I spend the next however many minutes trying to find a good uh, preset to use for the chord stabs. I think the one that I land on in the end anyway is the one that I use, so whatever. So we pretty much just draw these chords to play over the exact same notes than the lead synth and the sub notes are playing. These chords have the same root note as the sub notes that are playing. And we will repeat the process for the rest of the lead. And you can already hear this is coming together pretty well. Now what I want to do here is add a little bit of a, a raise and a dip uh, to the very first note in the lead. So it kind of has a bit of a swoopy kind of noise that I kind of like in these hard style leads. Now I'm going to skip through a bit of this, but all I did is really tweak some stuff and add some EQ. Now I've added a second instance of Serum and I'm going to add some kind of... Yeah, that sounds kind of nice. I like that. And we layer these together and we'll add in another one, why don't we? And hey, I might actually make my own preset. This is pretty much just going to be a basic detune saw. Add some noise. Now we'll put some LFO on the fine tuning. Pretty fast. Get in a second of Slater. And that's pretty much it. All right, let's have a listen to how this sounds all together. Now you can hear my PC is already kind of choking on this a fair bit, but, but it sounds pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it. 
So that just about wraps up this video. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching. And if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. I got a fair bit of stuff planned, like uh, finishing off this whole track and doing one hour track challenges, stuff like that. If you want to support me and the stuff that I do, make sure to check out the Patreon. I got a link in the description. I'll also add a link to this track when it's finished as well. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.